Good morning and welcome to the Meco Graphics webinar. This is David Goldstein. I'm the president of Meco Graphics and today we're going to be discussing how to use Meco Graphics with Excel. We're really going to be talking about three different scenarios. First, we're going to examine how to build a dashboard in PowerPoint, a PowerPoint presentation that has several charts in it. Each of those charts you are going to be updating periodically based on changes in, uh, in data. So this might be a weekly reporting deck or a monthly reporting deck or a quarterly deck that uh, shows how uh, um, how your sales are uh, how your sales or your revenue or your profits are changing. Um, we're going to to assume initially that you're starting with a presentation in PowerPoint, and you want to link some of that data to uh, some of those charts to data in Excel, and it's going to be easier to update your PowerPoint deck when you by just changing the data in Excel and then we're going to show you how to create a new chart in PowerPoint based on data from Excel. Next we're going to show you how to work in Excel as a scratch pad and I'm going to do that with a Marameco chart example where my data is in an Excel pivot table. I'm going to create a Marameco chart in Excel make it look the way I want it to look, uh, link it to the right uh, view of my pivot table, and then when I like it, I'll be able to copy and paste that data into uh, my PowerPoint presentation. And lastly, I'm going to create a reporting package in Excel, and that reporting package is going to have formatted Excel data, plus Meco Graphics charts all sitting in Excel. And in this case, you might want to have your Meco Graphics charts sitting right next to your well-formatted Excel data, or you might want to have your Meco Graphics charts in a separate sheet, um, but still close by with, Excel, with your Excel data in other sheets. So uh, to get going, we're going to look at uh, a dashboard that uh, we create quarterly based on data from Apple's uh, quarterly reports. We're going to be looking at the two charts on the left-hand side, trends in revenue from Apple and uh, trends in income growth. So we will start with uh, trends in revenue. And here you can see I've got my data Organ, my, my data in a simple stacked bar chart with a uh, with an average line and it goes from Q1 of 2013 to Q2 of 2016 and uh, the scenario we're testing is um, you know as we move to Q3 can I just add some data to an Excel, Excel spreadsheet and uh, more easily update my Meco graphics chart. So uh, um, we'll start by double clicking on this chart and um, at the same time I will uh, show you the data which is sitting here in uh, Excel and you can see data revenue growth and income data for Q1 of 2013 to uh, Q2 of 2016 with a couple of extra columns here as well. So I can highlight this data which I'm doing, selecting the data, the relevant data for my chart in, um, in Excel. And here you can see in PowerPoint, if I look at my data, it's going to look pretty similar. It's only going to have the revenue data. And it's only going to go through Q2. Now, if I want to link this data to that range in Excel, I just click in my Meco Graphics ribbon on Link to Excel and choose Link to Selected Range. When I do that, you'll notice the border of the chart changes from gray to green. The green border tells you two things. One is that the data is linked, and the second that the data is in sync. Uh, you have one other place where you can view all of your Excel links. We have something called the Excel Link Manager, 
which is available on the MECO graphics tab. If I click on that, you can see that uh, we have here a list of all of our slides, in this case, just slide four, with linked data, and it's linked to appledata.xls, this range, and the data is in sync. So if I go back here and go back to my Apple data, and I've got my Q3 data now, and say that's minus 4%. I click off. I don't even have to save the, the, um, the presentation, but it's nice if both the Excel and the PowerPoint are open. I can go back to my Excel link manager, and you can see here that the data is out of sync. And if you double click on the chart, well, if you click on the chart, you can see that we've got a little red warning flag to tell, also to tell you the data is out of sync. And if I double click on the chart, you're going to see the border is red, also telling you the data is out of sync. Um, many, many cues to let you know the data is out of sync. Um, to sync the data, all I need to do is go to my Excel link manager, click the refresh button, and you see now I've got my Q3 data here my average line updated, and now my, my border is green. My data is in sync. If I went back to the Excel link manager, it will also show that the data is in sync. So uh, pretty easy to do that. If you want the data to update automatically, you can uh, change your setting in the Excel link manager, and I will show you how to do that in a second. So um, that's one method, taking an existing chart and linking it to Excel data. Say you want to create a new chart. I want to create this Apple income trend chart from scratch. I can go back to my spreadsheet. I can highlight my labels and my data. So here's my selected range. I can go to the Meco Graphics tab. Now I have two choices. Do I want to see this chart in Excel or do I want to see this chart in PowerPoint? I'm going to select to see this chart in PowerPoint and I want a stacked bar chart. I'm going to click on stacked bar. And now I moved the software moves me right to Excel, changes my cursor to this little uh, hand with a Marameco chart behind it. I just click on a slide and it's going to put a stacked bar chart on the slide and the data are going to be linked. The border is green and the data are linked directly to the Excel, uh, that range in Excel that, uh, that I selected. So uh, I can go if I want to, I can format this data to make it look nice, but uh, I will not uh, do that in, uh, in this case. Um, you see it goes through Q2 of 2016. I will though click on my Excel link manager and for the, the income data, I'm going to select Auto Update. So now the data will automatically update in the Excel Link Manager for the income data. As I change this data, it will, um, the chart itself will change. You see I've got data going through Q2 of 2016 here. If I go back to my Excel data, and I add data for Q3. Say the Q3 comes in at minus 10%. Um, I am not predicting what Excel, what Apple is going to do uh, next quarter. Just giving you some uh, some examples. And you can see, I don't know if you saw it flash in the background, but we added the 10% Q3 data automatically added um, when I uh, entered that data in Excel. So that gives you a feel for auto update and for update through refresh, both of which you can do through, uh, through Meco Graphics. Um, now moving on to my second issue, which is uh, working with pivot tables in Excel with Meco Graphics. So I'm going to use a different Excel sheet here. I'll see, make this full screen. I uh, found some nice data on the web for the 50 richest people in the world. 
um, and you see I just listed them out here in my uh, um, in my data sheet uh, the person the country his or her net worth the industry um, I grouped industries because the industry classifications on the web I found were too uh, too detailed and I grouped countries into regions so each is either in the US the EU or the rest of the world so then I made a pivot table out of uh, out of this data and the pivot table is in this sheet here and you can see my rows are the individual um, individual billionaires and my columns are grouping them by um, by industry group and if I want to filter them by region I can add a filter there as well um, so I want to take this data and turn it into a pivot table, turn it into a, a Marameco chart. So I select the range I want, which does not have the grand totals. I click on my Meco graphics. I say I want my chart in Excel, and I want a Marameco chart. It's going to take a little, uh, a minute to uh, to build this. Um, it's a little slower when we're uh, we're running Go to Meeting, but it will uh, it will build in a second. And there's my chart. In Excel, I can resize it, I can organize it um, any way I want. So once I have my Meco Graphics menu here, I can, um, let's see, what can I do? I can format my numbers. So they're all in billions of dollars. I can sort my bars so that they are biggest on left and biggest on bottom. So if I format my numbers, so my grand total, my bar totals, and my segment numbers are all dollar billion. I show my numbers so I know the the value of each uh, uh, the wealth of each of these uh, billionaires and I sort my data so the biggest is on the bottom and the widest bars are on the left um, now I've got my chart the way I want it and this chart is dynamic so if I want to restrict and only show US billionaires, all I need to do is I change my pivot table and the chart updates and now I've only got US billionaires here. I can grow the chart as well if I want to. And as with uh, any, any Marameco chart, double clicking will uh, um, adjust the uh, adjust the size and adjust the fonts and make it look nice. Um, I can even uh, um, fill out my chart margin wise a little. And say I changed my mind and I want to show all again, I can go back and show all, click OK, and the chart, uh, the chart will update with uh, all the billionaires. Once I get the chart, looking the way I want it to look. I can leave it here in, um, in Excel, or I can cut or copy it. Go back over to PowerPoint and paste it. So it's a nice way to sort of start in Excel, get the data and the chart looking the way you want it to look, and when you get it the way you want it to look, move it into PowerPoint. The, day, the chart is still linked to that Excel range. So if I change the data in Excel, um, I would still get, I've got the green border, I would get it switched uh, to a red border. Um, and it would work the same way as the linked charts that I showed you uh, before worked. So. This gives you it's a nice a nice feature a nice way to work um, in Excel and then move 
to, uh, to PowerPoint. The last thing I wanted to show you was working in um, Excel, creating an Excel dashboard. So here I have got some data from Microsoft's quarterly report and say I want to turn this into a cascade chart that goes from revenue to net income. I want to make this chart in Excel. I want to make it a cascade. And I'm going to put it right next to my, uh, my income statement data. Um, you'll notice here that uh, um, it's not quite what I wanted. I will show you in a second how to, uh, how to uh, switch the rows and columns of the data so the data uh, look much more like the cascade that, uh, that we were, uh, you were expecting to see as soon as, uh, as, soon as the Meco Graphics uh, edit chart menu loads, which it, which it will in a second. Here we go. I can switch my bars in series, and now I've got something that looks much more like a uh, the cascade chart that I wanted to see. And you do also have the switch bars in series in uh, PowerPoint if you want to switch, if you moved your chart to PowerPoint and then wanted to switch it. Um, and then I can just go into my bars in series. Go to my bars select my total bars for gross margin, operating income, income before taxes, and net income. And now I've got something that looks closer to the, uh, to the cascade that I was trying to draw. If I want to get rid of this other, which has no, uh, which has zero value, I can click that off the chart. I can move my y-axis down to 20,000. I can move my chart to sit next to uh, the data so it sits nicely. Change my tick intervals to 5,000. Make my chart a little bigger. Oops. Make my chart a little bigger. There we go. Um, and now I've got a um, I've got a chart in PowerPoint in Excel sitting right next to my data, and that's a powerful presentation if you want to share this. Um, this spreadsheet with your data and with micro graphics charts sitting next to it. So um, in summary, I've uh, showed you uh, three different ways to play with uh, micro graphics uh, and Excel, showed you how to create a dashboard in PowerPoint and link to uh, Excel data. I showed you how to work in Excel to uh, work with pivot tables and create uh, charts in Excel that you can then move to PowerPoint. And I showed you how to create a reporting package in PowerPoint, in Excel, that, uh, that you could then use and share. Um, if you want to learn more, uh, we have got a lot of resources available to you, both on our website through mechographics.com, videos, sample presentations, toolkits, blog posts, plus we've got a lot of, uh, we have some uh, support capabilities built right into Meco Graphics, including the Ask an Expert button in the Meco Graphics toolbar. And we are uh, heavily into social media. You can connect with us on LinkedIn. You can uh, see our tweets on Twitter, and you can connect with us on Facebook. That uh, wraps up the, uh, uh, Excel um, webinar. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or any comments, feel free to reach out to me. You can get me through email, david at mechographics.com. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.